Hello there, my air sign collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, air signs. What's up with your energy? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or you're just filling the vibe. Take what's yours and leave what's not. What's going on? Hi. A lot of stagnation with you air signs. I like that. So I don't feel like there's a lot of disruptive energy, uh, which is very uh, interesting for you air signs. Uh, some of y'all could be paying attention to the earth weather. Some of y'all paying attention to the weather. Uh, I feel like you have a direction in mind, but you're just sort of focused on yourself here. So there's this energy of a stagnation. What is it when uh, I used to talk about uh, back when it was all sailing ships where they would meet a, an area out in the ocean where there was no wind and they'd be stalled for a while. Uh, Air signs, I feel like some of you are kind of in that energy. So take in the view, focus on you and what you got going on here. How appropriate. There you have uh, what Poseidon down there. King of Cups. Trusting your instincts on something too. I feel like <laughs> uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you guys are definitely paying attention to what you need to pay attention to. So you're avoiding any sort of toxic sort of vibes. Uh, especially when it comes to the emotional side of life. This is like a moon energy as well. Damn, look at that. There with the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. I don't dance now. I make money moves. I don't gotta dance. I make money moves. This is interesting. Have any of you watched any of the any movies that deal with like the water, the weight of water? Uh, some of y'all Aquaman vibes here. So sweet Jesus. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer, because I feel like astrology. I don't know if you can see it on that. You notice the little planets right there? So, damn. You're definitely far more focused on you. Schumann resonance, binaural beats. Definitely feel like your intuition is on point. That's really going to make an interesting sort of difference when it comes to you. Wear your sun sunscreen, drink plenty of water, stay moisturized, stay hydrated. There's this energy of stagnation with you. I forget what the hell they call that. When they were talking about the, the sailing ships that get stuck out in the middle in the ocean because the wind just sort of, it wasn't there. So it's, it's kind of like that energy with you. So I don't feel like you're moving around directionless. You're just sort of taking a little sabbatical. Good retrograde vibes though with you, air signs. King of Swords, there at the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're uh, removing obstacles, avoiding obstacles. You're definitely working. So even when you're in like Virgo hermit mode, you're still like far more productive than a lot of people are. Uh, really showing up. Archangel Michael vibes here. Beautiful energy. Timing is important when it comes to you. There's that Five of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you're pulling away from what you don't need. So you could be uh, uh, decluttering, looking at where you need to make changes. You're definitely feeling stingy. And that's what makes the difference with you. So this is like a different sort of side of you. A different perspective when it comes to you. Uh, no unnecessary risks either. And there's that sort of three of wands, the power of positivity with you. You can get more down in like Virgo mode or hermit mode than most people can. Uh, some of you. So take what's yours and leave what's not here, air signs, right? There's the sun. There's the six of swords. There's the six of cups. And there's the seven of cups. Boy. You got a lot of people scratching their heads, scratching their ass, figuring out what the fuck this sort of energy is when it comes to you. You got Cancer energy there. You got Scorpio energy there. And then we did have the sort of King of Cups vibe. So, damn. 
this energy is someone wanting to move you, overwhelm you, or, or sort of create some sort of uh, emotional tie or connection when it comes to you. But it feels more like a tsunami type vibe or a kind of rough seas energy. And there you are just sort of stuck in a very uh, interesting sort of vibe. That stagnation works beautifully for you air signs, though. King of Pentacles, there's the Queen of Wands. The Chariot vibe is the Nine of Swords. Judgment energy there at the Five of Pentacles. The Scorpio vibe is the Queen of Cups. There to the Two of Cups. There to the Eight of Cups. So some of y'all, there's a relationship or partnership where someone really doesn't have much affection. So someone is fake as fuck uh, wanting to come in. But it feels like they only want your attention once you stop paying them attention. So it's quality of the relationships or partnerships more than anything else. Yeah, you're working more for clarity uh, when it comes to you. This is a beautiful sort of simplification as well, uh, air signs. Once you simplify things, then it, it, everything starts to make sense here. Some of you could be more like earth focused or focused on the environment. So maybe you're thinking about going green or you're changing up uh, different sort of things like that. Who navigates by the stars or whatever that sort of Piscean vibe is. You're not allowing your emotions to overwhelm you. For some of you, that's what makes the difference. So sweet Jesus air signs. I know they have a name for that, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And they talk about the, if you got a sailboat, back when they were exploring and they'd get stuck for weeks on end out there in the ocean because there was like no breeze. Uh, it's kind of like that energy. But it, that's like a good relaxing vibe with you. The sort of stillness energy. So I feel, I feel like your energy is definitely missed. But this is like a good sort of break when it comes to you. But like you get more done in that hermit mode vibe. So now's not the time to allow yourself to be sort of overstimulated. Some of you with regard to like relationships or partnerships, this stagnation was good to sort of uh, figure out what you needed to figure out. This is a good detoxing vibe. So those of you, if you like spa treatments, get you some spa treatments. It's definitely not lack of opportunities, but it, some of y'all are dealing with someone who really has no sort of emotional side or they're, they're uh, if you're looking at them for some sort of emotional anything, they're not really going to be the one to provide it. And that's what makes the difference. Some of you, this allowed you to sort of get the clarity that you needed. Some of y'all were dealing with relationships or partnerships where there was just too much emotional energy there. So that was a relationship or partnership where the love was so overwhelming, but you couldn't find common ground to like build or grow on. So someone liked the fact you were in that energy. But once you're sort of out of that, then that emotional manipulation isn't there anymore. Uh, you don't give a fuck. So that sort of connection doesn't quite work anymore. Astrology could have worked on this for you. So do watch your favorite astrologer. There's a lot of clarity when it comes to you, uh, air signs. And that's what makes the difference. But damn, there's a lot of fertile energy around you. Rest and relaxation. So don't, <laughs> I don't want to say don't overexert yourself, but definitely get the rest that you need. Take the time that you need. Some of y'all, if you do like spa treatments, Ten of Swords always feels like acupuncture energy or maybe hot stone massage or some of y'all could be doing like the cupping that they do. I don't know, whatever your sort of thing is. Some of y'all just a good uh, uh, massage. Relax, rejuvenate, get the, get the rest that you need. This is a good, some of y'all could be pulling off your socials or spending more time sort of being present in the moment. So make sure that you're being present in the moment. Uh, this is like a, a good sort of rest recuperation energy. 
And that takes however long it takes. So uh, there is like that divine timing on this. It's a good retrograde vibe uh, for you air signs. Some of y'all, you avoid that sort of mucky energy. Uh, if you got out of a relationship or partnership and you were the one that made the decision with that cups energy, so now someone isn't able to sort of tug on that heartstring of yours, that's what makes the difference. Some of y'all was dealing with someone who really, the emotional capacity or the emotional sort of uh, uh, expectations would never have been met with this person. Or they like the fact that they could control the emotional side of the relationship or partnership. There's the Libra energy. Libra with the three of pentacles. Damn, some of y'all dealing with somebody who is just really, they have no love in their heart at all. There's the Capricorn, there's the Queen of Swords, there's the Page of Swords, there's the Eight of Swords, Empress Energy, Four of Cups, Four of Wands, High Priestess Energy, there with the Hangman vibe. So this was a business connection or a business opportunity or some sort of shit like that. Damn. You all avoided a loveless sort of vibe. So sweet Jesus. Fake ass emperor, fake ass empress energy here. Some of y'all, this is like professional ex energy as well. But damn, if someone was watching you, someone was watching them watching you or whatever the fuck this energy is. But damn, it was so fucking uh, stuck, stagnant and karmic as fuck. Damn, like, seriously here. Watch your favorite astrologer and make that birthday wish count, uh, air signs. Somehow that's how you avoid the heartbreak energy. Lord, sweet Jesus. There's abundance for you. So that's what makes the difference here. Damn. A lot of loveless or emotionless connections uh, here, air signs. So damn. Work, love, life. So do your own thing. Focus on what's important to you. Aquarius is always uh, business-wise. Gemini is uh, relationships, partnerships, right? Libra energy, choice, uh, choices. So someone made a smart choice, someone made a shit choice. So y'all just need to sit your asses down. Uh, be far more analytical than all up in your emotions. Some of you are just dealing with player vibes. Some of you, there's way too many sort of... Uh, if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So there's so much secondary energy on that 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 just makes it very messy. What the fuck do they call that? When the ship is just sort of stuck out there because there is no wind. Good rest, relaxation, avoiding heartbreak. There, I feel like there are relationships or partnerships falling apart around you that don't have shit to do with you. But if someone's watching you and someone's watching them watching you, I mean, that's some fucked up energy just uh, before you even go anywhere. So some of y'all don't... Uh, now's not the time for that uh, trauma bonding. Some of y'all need to just have faith. Faith and trust and sit your ass down, pull focus back on you. This is good, uh, this is good spa energy. Stay moisturized, stay hydrated, wear your fucking sunscreen. 
take the time that you need. <laughs> Whatever your rules of retrograde are, or those of you that's paying attention to like the earth weather, I feel like you can navigate this energy just fine. Some of y'all, you just don't need to fucking do anything. So that that's kind of the whole point. So take the time. Uh, enjoy where you're at, look around, enjoy the view. Uh, there's something you need to probably be paying more attention to anyway than a loveless relationship or partnership or way too much of a trauma bonded type relationship or partnership. Beautiful blessings energy as well here. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Hmm. I know they have a name for that. I can't think of what the fuck they call it. Definitely, I like the Poseidon energy with you. It is not lack of opportunities. It's some of y'all, it's the wrong relationship or partnership. Ooh, how appropriate. Don't go chasing waterfalls. We stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. Uh, ooh. Ain't that what it's about, though? So there could be a break or some sort of... Uh, uh, allow some sort of room in a relationship or partnership so you're not feeling overwhelmed. Some of y'all, that relationship or partnership wouldn't have been as emotionally fulfilling as you would want it to be. Uh, someone would have just come in and uh, drunk up all the sort of emotion, the love. Uh, so you could have been dealing with someone who emotionally, they didn't love themselves. So you would have been spending all that time and energy trying to make someone else feel good about themselves. And you kind of... Uh, uh, not allowing yourself to love yourself and give to yourself. So you should be happily fucking single or whatever the hell this sort of vibe is with you. This is like spirit of the universe telling you to sit your ass down. Uh, that's an opportunity you don't need. Make that birthday wish count though. So, good luck, God bless, take what's yours, leave the rest. Watch your favorite astrologer. And don't go chasing fucking waterfalls. So, some of y'all be mindful of fucking trauma bonding as well. So, damn. Peace, love, and light. Oh, ring the bell if you're ever so inspired to.